Hello, my name is Scott and welcome to this episode of Weed Schooling. Today we're going to go over five beginner quick tips for growing outdoor cannabis. So quick tip number one, pH your water. Cannabis plants are going to respond and they're going to thrive when the pH is optimal. Optimal cannabis pH is 6 to 6.5 how to pH your water, go down to your local grow shop, get yourself a, grow, a pH pen, and whatever container that you're feeding out of, typically you don't wanna feed straight out of a hose because you wanna make sure that you have the optimal pH. So if you have containers that you're pumping out of, even that you're mixing feed in, you wanna pH it right before you feed your plants. If your pH is too high or too low, get pH up, pH down, and bring it into this optimal range so that your plants can be in the perfect condition to thrive and also to uptake nutrients. If the pH gets a little off, plants can go into lockout and not absorb certain nutrients that they need. So pH your water, six to 6.5. Okay, quick tip number two, amend your soil. When's the best time to amend your soil? It's in the beginning of the year. That way the amendments that you put in, you can really work into the soil. If it's later in the year, you're probably not gonna be able to turn it in because you don't wanna disturb the roots too much. However, you can amend your soil at any point in the year. Beginning of the year is best. What to amend with? There's a million things out there that you can amend with. If we were just gonna recommend two, we recommend kelp and azomite. It has over a hundred essential minerals, essential nutrients, vitamins, growth hormones, proteins, enzymes, all really important for the plant's overall growth, vigorous flower production. Okay, quick tip number three. Know your macronutrients, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. It's important to use nutrients derived from organic sources. This is important for the overall microbial health of your soil. Fertilizers have the nutrient content in bold numbers at the top of the package. Those numbers correspond to the percentage of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in the contents of that fertilizer. So nitrogen. It's vital for the plant's vegetative growth. When to use it? Early in the year, from the beginning all the way to early, mid-August. You're gonna use it a little bit as they go into flower because it also helps with the chlorophyll. However, it's mostly the vegetative growth. And when they start switching into flower, we really wanna hit them with phosphorus to encourage that vigorous, wonderful flower growth. So phosphorus, the second number in the NPK. Phosphorus is vital for the flowering when to use it, early mid-August, all the way through the end of flowering. And then potassium. It's vital for the overall health of the plant, chlorophyll production, water respiration, disease resistance. We're gonna use it through the entire year. However, we're gonna use it most heavily when they start going into flower. So early mid-August, all the way through early mid to end of November. So it's important to know your macronutrients because it's what is going to help your plant thrive, give them the most vigorous, fast vegetative growth and really swell up the buds for the biggest colas. You're gonna to wanna to feed one to three times a week. And that depends on how often you can feed. If your soil is really dense and clay, you're not gonna be able to feed three times a week. You might be able to feed once or twice a week. So you gotta know your soil and then you gotta start figuring out what kind of feed works for you. Stay tuned for other episodes of Weed Schooling where we go over really specific feeding recommend rec regimens and feeding schedules. So quick tip number four, foliar feed. Plants can absorb up to 30% of their nutrients through their leaves. The best time to foliar feed is in the morning when the plant's stomatas, their pores, are open and can receive most optimally the nutrients that you give them. Again, stay tuned for other episodes on specific foliar feeding reg regimens and recommendations. Quick tip number five, Support and train your branches. Cannabis plants can be a little brittle. Heavy winds come through, branches can break. Later in the year, when the buds get really big, they can break. A little bit of rain comes and the buds get even heavier, they can break. So it's important throughout the entire year, even early on, to support your branches. Some people use cages, netting, bamboo. We prefer cages, because with the cages, they're really sturdy. We can put a smaller cage in early on, and then a second cage later on around mid-July. So with the metal cages, we can also train them. When we train the branches, we're pulling them out, bending them out, and spreading them. So more of the surface area of the plant 
can receive the sun. When more of the surface area receives the sun, they're gonna have more vigorous vegetative growth all throughout the entire plant, and then more sunlight's gonna hit so that you get the flowers all throughout the plant swelling up. So supporting and training your branches, really important. Take a look at some other episodes that we already have up on supporting and training your branches. So thank you for joining us for this episode of Weed Schooling. Just to review real quickly, five beginner quick tips, pHing your water, 6 to 6.5, amending your soil, know your macronutrients, your nitrogen, your phosphorus, your potassium, foliar feeding, supporting and training your branches. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, any questions that you have, share below. And any recommendations or other things that you would like to see, just let us know. We have an extensive team out here in Southern Oregon of really experienced expert growers, and we got a lot more videos coming your way.